Hi guys! So today will be something new. So I normally just make reviews for lipsticks. I don't think I've ever made a review for a foundation. But spoiler alert, I really really love this new Benefit Hello Happy foundation. And I just wanted you guys to get a glimpse of what it looks like when you put it on and how I feel about it as a makeup artist and my experiences using it. So if you want to know my review on the new Benefit Hello Happy Foundation, then keep on watching. Okay, so let us get to know the foundation first. The packaging looks like this. And um, the box has a flap in case you want to read what is in here. The ingredients are on it. So once you open the box, super cute packaging. I'm really into this metallic pink. And in the back, it says Hello Happy Soft Bear Foundation and your shade number will be there. Sheer to medium coverage liquid foundation SPF 15. So before I apply the foundation on my skin so you guys can see what it looks like when you put it on, I am going to be reading some of the claims of the foundation. And I'm going to be reading these so that later I can tell you guys if I think that the foundation can live up to what it says it can do. So Hello Happy Soft Bear Foundation, Light to Medium Coverage Liquid Foundation, Weightless, Breathable, Natural Finish, 12-hour long wear, and it's oil-free. So what is special about this foundation is that it says it has optical blurring spheres that softly diffuse light to create a blurred effect on your skin. To use, shake well before use. Blend one drop onto clean, moisturized face and repeat to build coverage. So this foundation comes in 12 shades and I am in the shade number 4. So before I apply this, I just want to say that, you know, obviously I already have my brows, my eyeshadow, mascara, and lipstick on. And I'm just going to be applying this to my bare skin. I don't have anything on my skin except my skincare. And I'm not going to apply any primers because I want you guys to see what it looks like on my bare skin without that many new variables just so we can see the effect of the foundation on its own. So again, it says shake well before use. So when you take the cap off, it looks like this. So you get a lot of control in how much product you're using. As directed, I put about a drop. This is kind of a larger drop, but that's still a little foundation. And I found that the best way to apply it is with your fingers. So I always start applying foundation here in the center of my face. Oh my god, and before I forget, I'm gonna take the Boeing Brightening Concealer in shade number 2. This is also by Benefit. And I apply this under my foundation just for a little color correction. As you can see, that made a huge difference already. So I'm just applying a light layer with my ring finger. And I do this underneath my foundation for a more natural and blended in finish. Okay, so that's one drop of foundation in the center of my face. I'm gonna need a bit more. So I'm gonna apply another drop. And I'm just gonna put a few dots under my eyes. I'm gonna go up here. And cheek area. So this foundation actually has a special sponge applicator that is actually only available in Asia. And to be honest, I don't really like the sponge. It's, it's pretty firm and I like my sponges for my face to be really, really bouncy. So this one, I don't really use. If you're not a fan of using your fingers to spread your foundation, the best alternative that I've used for this foundation would be a dense kind of buffing brush. So I'm just gonna blend the rest with this. So this is what two to three drops of the foundation looks like. And honestly, for me, this is like enough coverage. I love it. It looks like skin and I really feel like it's like one with my skin and promise, promise, promise it feels like I'm not wearing anything at all on my skin. And in terms of its claims that it's weightless, breathable and it has a natural finish, I super duper agree with that. This foundation, it's like the foundation for foundation haters. If you hate that feeling of having makeup on your skin, this is so breathable and weightless. So I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna add 
a bit of bronzer just to give my skin like a warm glow. Not really gonna contour with it. But I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of Benetint and What's Up highlighter. So these are just three more Benefit products just to keep in theme with this Benefit review. And I've already tested this makeup under different like situations. I've worn it in the daytime, I've worn it at nighttime with like flash photography and it has never let me down. I have super oily skin so after maybe like 4 hours I'll need to like blot with oil film but that's super normal for me and I don't mind. And I've also used this on a client with a drier skin type and it worked fine. It still looked beautiful on her skin. And another factor that's super important to me is the way foundation looks underneath makeup. And this foundation is great because it doesn't really budge and it doesn't react badly with other makeup products. I also love that it is SPF 15 because I love just layering my sun protection. The foundation is 1,800 pesos. And I know that's a little pricey compared to you know, foundations you can buy in your department store. But for me, it's not just about the way a foundation applies, like right off the bat. It's more of how nice your foundation stays on your skin after a long period of time. And lastly, I'm going to finish off with Watch Up, one of my favorite highlighters ever. And what's nice with this foundation is that Especially if you're gonna go for like a glowy, dewy look. It makes your skin have like a natural glow still, even if it's long wearing. In terms of setting, I find that I don't need to super set this foundation. I will just powder underneath my eyes because my concealer always moves regardless of the foundation I use. And I'll powder just here in this part of my forehead. But the rest of my face, I like to keep the glow that the foundation gives. So this is the finished look. And like I said, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation. And I've worn this a couple of times already. And I've never had a bad experience with it. It's never looked bad in photos, daytime photos, nighttime flash pics. I've never had a problem. I've never had a client react badly to it. It covers most blemishes, redness, really is good at evening out your skin tone. And the only thing I don't like about it, I guess, would be like it has a slight fragrance. It kind of smells like um, baby wipes or something like that. But it doesn't really bother me. It's not unpleasant. It just, I'm just not used to my foundations having a fragrance. But once you put it on, it goes away like almost immediately. So it's not a deal breaker at all for me. I just know that maybe some people aren't used to fragrances in their foundation. But that's it. And as for the wear, which is one of the most important things for me in a foundation, it wears beautifully throughout the day. It doesn't really fade. I like the way it looks on my skin even after several hours. Again, like I said, I'll just have to like use an oil film on my skin after a few hours, but that's nothing new to me. It's just because my skin's really oily and I love to hydrate it a lot underneath my makeup. So yeah, that is it for my review of the Hello Happy Foundation. As a makeup artist, I really love this foundation. It has quickly become one of my favorites. And yeah, if you guys have any other questions about this foundation or anything at all, don't hesitate to just leave a comment down below. I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.